This video demonstrates renal artery stenting in an 81-year-old gentleman who had a prior history of endovascular aneurysmal repair of his abdominal aortic aneurysm. He developed type 1 endo leak and had an extension cuff placed just by his renal arteries. CTA done here demonstrates type 1 endo leak. The reason for performing renal artery stenting was to prepare him for a snorkeling procedure later and to extend the aortic cuff above his renal arteries to exclude his type 1a endoleak. The right common femoral artery was accessed with a mini stick needle followed by the wire micropuncture sheath. This was done under ultrasound guidance. A guiding catheter was then introduced in the abdominal aorta over a Benson wire. Next, this glide catheter was used to selectively cannulate the left renal artery and then glide wire was then advanced into the renal artery under fluoroscopic guidance. The green fiduci markers shown on the screen are obtained by fusing preoperative CT scan with bony landmarks. The green marker here demonstrates the orifice of the renal artery and its trajectory. These fusion markers help to minimize contrast administration which is beneficial in patients with chronic kidney disease. Next, the wire is further advanced into the renal artery and the catheter is advanced. We then perform a renal artery angiogram confirming our positioning of the catheter in the renal artery. The diameter of the renal artery was then measured. We then introduced a quick cross catheter over the soft angle glide wire as demonstrated here. This was done to exchange for a stiffer wire. This was followed by insertion of a rosin wire in the distal renal artery allowing for wire exchange over a catheter. The patient was heparinized. Next we brought in a, a 7 French sheet through the abdominal aorta this left renal artery was stenotic near its origin. So we had difficulty in advancing our sheath through the renal artery. This prompted us to bring in a 4 mm balloon and perform pre-dilation of this renal artery orificial stenosis. The balloon was inflated to nominal pressure and the orifice and the proximal portion of this renal artery was pre-dilated. This allowed us to advance a sheath through the renal artery as demonstrated here. We were extremely careful while advancing our sheath to make sure that our wire do not track back and our sheath do not project into the abdominal aorta. Once the sheath was advanced across the renal artery orifice, a 5 mm balloon expendable VB extent was brought through the sheath. The stent was placed across the orificial stenosis. A repeat angiogram was then performed confirming a location of the stent graft. This stent was then deployed under fluoroscopic guidance as demonstrated in this video. Once the stent is deployed, The sheath is gently advanced over the balloon catheter and the balloon expendable stand delivery system is retrieved back. A completion angiogram is then performed which shows successful placement of the left renal artery stent without any evidence of renal parenchymal injury. In this case, the technique for renal artery stenting differed from standard technique in that we land this stent flush as opposed to projecting into iota in the usual situation. This concludes our video demonstration on renal artery stenting.